four. Five. Okay, the last thing I want to show you guys is how I study with this. And for me, I've been doing this for over... I started my last semester of undergrad because my dad told me about this program to try to get used to it because I thought it might be useful. Uh, I found that it is very useful for me. And I'll just show you how I use it to study. Um, so I've, I'm a second year. Uh, I've often got... Uh, you know, the curriculum that I'm in is going through organ systems one at a time. So right now we're in the endocrine system. And so I've got a, I've got two, well, I never really touched this deck, as you can see. I've just sort of let that one go. Um, I've got my step one deck, which is where any board review, any card that I'm making out of a board review book, like First Aid or Pathoma or Gullion, I will add them all into here. And I used to do that first because I've also got the class deck, and the class deck is for details that aren't covered in the review books, but are covered in class, and might I might just need for the class. And so I make this deck as I'm watching lectures at super speed, and I add them, review them, and then as soon as that block is over, I delete them, because things that I probably don't need to remember. Uh, but the step one deck is things that I do. So the way that I will study with this one, so I've got the step one deck, I obviously I'll use this one the most. Um, by the way, I like the green background on here. I don't know how I got that, um, but it just happened one day randomly, and I like it because it hurts my eyes less. Um, by the way, also pimping out this program, Flux, is pretty awesome. Uh, so blank, x-ray, the loaded focus, um, causes of uh, this vitamin D. So you can see the fill in the blank cards that I've made, and I've seen these a lot. My intervals now are pretty big. Um, these are cards that I made probably a month ago. Uh, I can send this one. I'll, I'll send it there because I remember, obviously, vitamin D, uh, if you don't get it in the sun, if your diet's bad, if you can't absorb, or if the organs that have the enzymes to make active vitamin D are bad, you're not going to make any. Uh, things that I know... Uh, so I'll just hit that. Osteomyelitis goes, usually goes to the epiphyses in adults. Um, and obviously I'm talking out loud so you can see, so I'm just sort of explaining my thought process, but I'm like, for Burke, Y equals zero, O line for Burke. Um, let's see, it was one over B max, was it? Y equals zero. Yeah, that was it. Uh, Flagellum made of protein. Yeah, most bacterial blank. Uh, so this is uh, capsules. So bacillus synthesis has a D glutamate capsule. Um, again, these are just things from first. These are just word for word things from first day that I have put into uh, this deck. And bisphosphonates induce apoptosis of O-clasts. That uh, bone disease, secondary osteoporosis from drugs come from heparin. Which seems weird, but it's true. Uh, sclerotic bone surrounding the Look, focus. X-ray. Alphas is high. When osteoblasts are active, uh, Pathoma guy did a very good job of explaining this. Uh, basic vitamin D absorption. Osteomyelitis and sickle cell disease is from Salmonella. Uh, just one of the buzzwords for the bugs and that cause osteomyelitis. Uh, so I do this. I've also got pictures um, that will pop up here. These won't pop up in these cards, though. Um, you can see what I start out with is these, just this number at the beginning of the day. And honestly, this is most of what I do to study, uh, is just go through cards and also just add them as I go. And so I'll add a new one. Uh, it could be, let's see, it could be anything. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, often what I do, I've got, I'll have two books open beside me. I've got... Uh, but the books that I'm using a lot right now are First Aid and Pathoma. Um, the Pathoma lectures are awesome, and they just explain it so well. So I've got the book with me, and he, most of the things that he talks about in the lectures are covered in the book. And so I've got the book with me, and I'll just sort of run, I'll just make cards as I'm going through that. And usually I've got Pathoma open to the section that I'm covering in school, and then First Aid open to a completely different section uh, because honestly I get super bored studying the same thing all the time and if I'm making decent progress with the class material uh, in the board review books I'll just open up a different section that I it just sort of mixes it up and keeps it fresh uh, so right now I've got uh, Pathoma open to page 168 which is adrenal cortex uh, pathology and endocrinology in the endocrinology section and I've got first aid open to uh, the, common disease, the common diseases that you would find in HIV-positive adults. Um, I like keeping it fresh. Also, as you can see, with you make up, when you have a bunch of cards, uh, what was this? 
and the increasing intestinal, so kidney reabsorption. Yeah, so you absorb it, you reabsorb it, or you you liberate it from the bones. A blank competitive inhibitor you can overcome by increasing the substrate. Non-competitive can't. Uh, so you see one question is about calcium levels. The next one is about osteosarcoma, pathologic fracture, uh, swollen knee, and bone pain. Uh, Pages will not involve multiple bones. Uh, osteosarcoma, young teens. Uh, avascular necrosis in the digits coming in. Sickle cell, a blank. Yeah, we just saw this one. So you see farm. So you, I mean, you see a you know a avascular necrosis question followed by a farm question. And I like this too because it just keeps the material. It just keeps it fresh. Um, but the further along you get with these cards, see, I could send this one away and not see it for 20 days, and that keeps the number of cards manageable. Um, so you're not just getting a ton, a ton of reviews every day. Uh, getting it to where you're able to do it every day. Um, you can also look at some stats um, by hitting this button. It'll pull them up. Uh, and so you can see how many cards you've studied and how many minutes. Uh, you can see how many reviews you've got due up tomorrow. It's that many. You can see the, you scroll all the way down and just see, the, you, I mean, you can figure this out. You've got all the uh, sort of the breakdowns and the, Things like that. Uh, so that's how I use it, uh, and I have success. If this was a problem that I was, ha if this was something I was having a problem remembering, I could reword it in here, shorten it, lengthen it, um, abbreviate it, do whatever um, with this. But for me, I mean, the things that I was just experientially, the things that I was reviewing um, a month ago, I know as well now as I did then. Uh, I haven't opened the book on musculoskeletal uh, diseases in a month, but I still have a good handle on achondroplasia and osteopetrosis, osteoporosis, Paget's disease of bone, osteitis fibrosis cystica, all those things, only because of this program. Uh, and that just helps me sort of keep it all in. And that was the goal of my, that was my, that was what I wanted to get out of this, was to be able to learn it once well and not forget it. Uh, which makes it nice because the further I keep going, the more I can just sort of keep assimilating the new stuff in and the connections are really starting to happen. So um, I think that's about it for this one.